The situation is firmly in hand. Liar! Oh, no. My name is Oswald Cobblepot. I saw them. And I saw who's leading them. Are you saying these scapees are organized? Hello, that is what I am saying. Hello, Jim. Oswald. I'm surprised you haven't found Mooney. I hear you're quite the bounty hunter these days. You haven't made it worth my while. Oh, tough guy now. But he makes a point. So, how you doing? You already asked her that. Gotham's full of rough characters. Just seeing her kills me, you know? Get over it. And that child just stole your wallet. I really do not have time for this. He started it. It's a why. The... <laughs> What's a quub? Quub. What's a quub? I mean, can anyone understand him? Do you know what a quub is? Quub. <laughs> Enough. We will work something out. <laughs> that's, that's just, that's crazy. <laughs> She's crazy. She was an Arkham, hello. Hello, so was I. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Fine. Run your club. Just so we're clear, the only reason you are alive is Butch. The moment he gives me the word, you're mine. The GCPD is not Gotham. Gotham listens to me. It's time to round up our friends. Cobblepot, what the hell are you doing here? You have proven to be incapable of time and time again. This is the last time I'm gonna ask. Back up! You've had your chance, Barnes. Now it's my turn. Oswald. Don't call me that. My name is Penguin. How long I've waited for this very moment. Mr. Cobblepot. Quiet! So this is it. I spare your life. And you shoot me dead in the woods like an animal. Pretty much, yes. I was jailed illegally by a corrupt system. A corrupt system that was put into place by this man who has the audacity to put himself back into the position that he brought so much shame and dishonor to. How dare you? No, how dare you? I'd like to meet you alone. The public sees me as a man of action, of change. You, you are yesterday's sad joke. While Gallivan humiliated this city, where were you? In a warehouse with a box on your head. What do you got? I have me. Oh, you. So smart. Always one step ahead. <laughs> Never three. Are you suggesting I release a convicted criminal out onto the street? Well, yes. For your betterment. That would take extensive patient analysis, probational hearings, appeals. Lockdown is now in full effect. Of course, there's always plan B. I feel like I've misjudged someone who's supposed to be my friend. I am your friend. I can't be bought, but I can be stolen with a glance. I'm worthless to one, but priceless to two. What am I? I don't care. I do not need a stupid riddle right now. Give me one reason why I shouldn't let Butch kill you where you stand. Well, there are about 30 witnesses. I don't care! You will pay for this! Seriously? This is the reason we're here? A little glue. Some paint. Mama will be good as new, huh? <laughs> oh. No, that is not the reason you are here. Peace and order have once again been restored to Gotham. The Red Hood gang is no more. Well, Oswald. And now the mayor would like to say a few words. What's wrong with that boy there? And if they don't like you, wait for them to turn their backs and push them down the stairs. Thank you.
Little guy needed a push, that's all. You are going to cut quite the fine figure at the Founders' Dinner tonight. Yes. Did you know that this dinner has been thrown annually for over 200 years? My name is Joe. And if we don't... Oswald. Yes. You're smiling. I was. Listen to me, you little idiot. I am telling you one last time. Let Ed go. No. I will write to him. I will make him understand. He has nothing to fear. I'm not going to let him go. Very well. Don't say I didn't warn you. Gotta give her credit. She fought for him. Too bad she underestimated her opponent. Wouldn't say why. What do we have here? A little family reunion? My invitation get lost in the mail? No, this meeting is for grown-ups, so I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Hmm. Quick question. Is it how do I commit suicide? Because that answer is coming. We have a history, you and I. But if you ever point a gun at me again, Olga will be cleaning your brains off the floor. She's a real whiz with stains. Bob, great to see you. Bill, take care. Perhaps you've truly fought. Or perhaps... Please. Then I... Mr. Mayor? Unless you are bringing strong coffee, or you have information on my father's stolen remains, go away. Left in day. Ah! You barely... Ah! Ah! I need Ed. He's the only one. Listen to me! Ah! Ed's not here. I am. So get up, take a shower, do that disco vampire thing with your hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just... <laughs> well, I'm glad you can find the humor in it. Did you really think I would be so easy to manipulate? What was your plan? Is that what you want? Yes. I confess. I had her killed. But guess what? You should thank me. Because we both know what would have happened if I had it. Yes! I could have lived a life with the woman I loved. I could have been happy. No, Ed. You would have killed her. <laughs> Just like you did the other one. Think. What? I said, think. Oh, I heard you. I'm just surprised you knew the word. <laughs> I don't work for Barbara Kane. Oh. <laughs> Stop pretending that you are anything but muscle. Yes, you used to be someone in Gotham, but those days are past. Remember when I put a knife in your mom's back? That was awful, wasn't it? Her crying, bleeding out, you just holding her as she died. You never did anything about it. Yet. But find out where he is. Why don't you call him? You understand if I feel compelled to refuse. Like that in front of people. I'm just saying. Give up, Nigma. He is first in my dream. He floats in the soul. He flies by the bed. Almost makes up for being dead. You do know the entire GCPD is hunting you. Yes. Well, not to burst your bubble, but wanted or not, no one is going to be afraid of the Riddler. I just remembered. There's someone I need to kill. Pretty cool, huh? I told you the whole estate was abandoned. Can you believe it? 
As a matter of fact, I can. It smells like rotting death in here. I think someone's hungry, Daisy. Stop it. I told you I am fine. I am a grown man for crying out loud. <laughs> What's with you and all the plants? Oh, they're my friends. Your friends? Yeah. Once we get these delivered. You know, I like the idea of an auction game. I think I will auction you off to myself. Piece by bloody piece. Fine ensuring that Gabe's oath of loyalty is noble and true. If what is what now? Make him smell your perfume. Yeah, me too. I get over it. Now this when you're part of this? I could kill your boss just to sweeten the deal. Oswald. Hello, Jim. Guess I shouldn't be surprised you're still alive. Yes. I am quite hard to kill. Escaped. For your own sake, Oswald. Drop it. I knew it. You don't know anything. Trust me. Let it go. Sorry, no can do. My name is Oswald Cobblepot. You cannot do this to me. I demand to speak to the person in charge! Newsflash, Ed. I'm not dead. What? Edward? But that's your name. Edward. Edward. Edward, 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 Edward. Enough! No, please. Did the guards club you? You knew they did. Then I'm happy. We have to escape. Wait, is that Jello? Surprise! We have the gangs. You have yourself. <laughs> Actually, I have an army of Hugo Strange's monsters in my command. But even if I were alone, you wouldn't stand a chance. What's he so angry about? <laughs> There's a war coming between me, Ed Enigma, and Barbara Keen. I need my army. What's in it for me? My gratitude. Edward? No army of monsters, huh? Such a shame. You want to kill him, or can I? Wait. Something's wrong. Oh, Ed. So smart. Enigma. Barbara Keen. They wouldn't even be allowed to sit at the same table as Don Falco. And yet, here I am, forced to demean myself to do battle with them. Yeah, people are dumb. I have no more safe houses. Oh. Hello again, Oswald. You must be very proud of yourself, Ed, thinking you outsmarted me. Well, frankly, it wasn't really a challenge. <laughs> now you're gonna do one thing before you die. Call me... the Riddler.
No. You have a choice, Oswald. This can happen real quick. Or it can take hours. Days. It will be... I'll take option B, Ed. Since saying that ridiculous name would be torture itself. No. <laughs> Stop! Miss Mooney! Miss Mooney! Mooney's busy! I'm here now. <laughs> she sees a city where people like myself. Victor, Bridget, freaks are in charge. And you are gonna help us achieve that. I'm going to ask you once, where is it? <sighs> okay. <laughs> what? You know, when I was in Arkham, I was tortured daily. No, oh, well that was therapy, Oswald. <laughs> therapy. That device you used to administer the therapy. Remember that? It gave the sensation that your head was being torn open so that hot lava could be poured directly into your brain. Afterwards, just thinking of it would make me physically ill. So, naturally I had to have it. <laughs> One no. moment to Oswald. No! All right, all right. I'll, I'll tell you anything you need to know. I'll tell you where the antidote is. I know. But not just yet, okay? But first I have to kill Enigma. He has to die. I pull the pin. Kaboom. No more touch. No hope for an antidote. A little crude, don't you think? I'm... Oh, he's awake. I was getting lonely. Why, you have some place you have to be? Does it matter? There are so few moments of pure joy in one's life, I feel compelled to savor this one. You mean gloat? Yeah. Yes, I do. Perfect. You failed. I am still alive, and you are handcuffed in the back seat. And now, you will never be able to correct your mistake. Don't you get tired of making the same mistake over and over? You think I'm making a mistake? Well, instead of killing me when you got the chance, you've decided to feed your ego. <laughs> you want to talk ego, Riddler? <laughs> You're right. I shouldn't have waited. But unlike you, I am in the position to rectify my mistake. Prepare for one massive tantrum. I have to tell you. Any last words? I'm fine for now. I removed the bullets when you were knocked out. Right before I called them. I thought it should be personal. You were just trying to make me think I had the upper hand. It all fell into place. <laughs> but fortune favors the bold. I know you, Ed. I may be driven by my emotions, but you are driven by something much more predictable. A desperate, compulsive need to complete what you've started in exacting fashion. Strongest and most confident.